We are going to show you how to replace or repair the keyboard mechanism for the HP or Compact keyboards. What you will receive is the rubber spring cup and the key parts. Depending on your purchase, you may or may not have the keycap included with your order. If you do, the clip must be removed from the back of the key before assembling the parts to the keyboard. These are the parts attached to the back of the key. Once again, if you received only the hardware, this will already be removed and you will not have the keycap with your order. So what you'll need to do is get a small tool such as this precision screwdriver and you need to get underneath the clip between the clip and the keycap and gently pry the pieces apart. Now we're ready to attach the parts to the keyboard itself. Looking at the clip you'll see that it's rotated the correct way. That is this back piece here is going to slide underneath this piece of metal while these two feet on the edges are going to slide under these two pieces of metal. This is the way the clip should be faced for this type of configuration. Sometimes this part will be rotated up 90 degrees or down 90 degrees or even flipped 180 degrees. Always remember that this keyhole looking piece on the inside of the clip should face opposite in direction of this metal piece here. That is, if the metal piece was over on this end and these two clips were over on this one end, the clip would look something like this. Now, you have to make sure that the clip is also flipped in the right direction. The best way to tell is observe this part of the clip here. There should be a raised plastic bar. That is incorrect because this plastic bar needs to slide under here. So the bar needs to be as close to the base of the keyboard as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble the clip onto the keyboard base. We're first going to slide this bar here underneath this piece of metal here. You may need to use a small tool to get it underneath there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just slide these feet on this side and this side underneath these pieces of metal. Just like that. Make sure the clip is compressed. That'll help the cap go on. Now we're going to go ahead and put the cap onto the keyboard. Press down and presto, there it is.